a name synonymous with camping. No, not Little Bobby Devlin's. I'm talking about Coleman. How about something that's 24 feet, 4 inches, 44, 44 pounds dry, slideless, rear dining couples coach that's great for that couple that wants to get out in their first RV. Check out the Coleman Lantern LT202RD. So here we are on the inside of the all new Coleman Lantern LT202RD. Now look, if you get a chance, please give us a like, subscribe and notify. So the next time we get a video out, whether it's camping trip, uh, camping tips, how to's or new RV reviews, you're the first one to get it. What do you say we start right up front of the 202RD? Nestled in the front cap right here is the queen size bed. And look at the space that we have for our nightstands. Not only do you have 110 power over here, uh, or excuse me, although you have USB over here, you also have USB on the off-camp side, plus cubby storage. So if you need a spot for a CPAP machine, store your phone, whatever, you got it. And you got mirrored wards on both sides, plus a storage lip, and of course, storage underneath the bed right there. Window with wood valance with the pleated shade to give you some privacy. And you got a TV backer as well as cable connection and power right there to give you a little bit of privacy inside this 202RD because this one can sleep, you know, probably anywhere from four to six people, uh, especially if the people are kids. You do have a privacy curtain to give you some additional privacy here. Now, go ahead, Bobby, I'm gonna let you walk through to the kitchen, then we'll get to the bathroom. Over here on the campsite, you'll see when you walk in your command panel, check the fresh, check the grays, check the batteries, run out the awning, the whole nine, USB 110, decorative backsplash here over your 12 by 48 window, which is nice and large to see what's going on at the campsite and check out the large black sink that we have right here. This is a huge sink. Fit a big old turkey up in now. Got the flush mounted three burner cooktop with 16 inch graystone oven. The, this is recessed, so you got more prep space, but also doubles as a backsplash. Plus you got the LED accent light on there as well some good storage space behind the shaker doors, as well as solid wood construction, full extension of ball bearing drives on the shelves. And I like what they did with the color this year. Uh, Ian kind of coined the phrase, I give him credit for it, it's called <laughs> grayish, good combination of gray and beige. Uh, they really lightened it up this year for 22. Frosted glass inlay, matte black pulls, my storage up top, my contour microwave and hood. Right over here, I like how we got the Everchill. 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. This is a fridge freezer combo. Great space for those long weekend getaways. Plus you got the clothes latch there. Extra large pantry storage too. Plus right over here in the rear, we're gonna finish off the bathroom, Bobby. Right over there in the rear, look at the plush and comfortable jackknife sofa nestled over here on the off camp side. This folds out into a sleeper, but it also has the fold down coffee holders, large panoramic windows with wood balances, more storage up top here, huge window, which when you're talking about rear dining, you're usually gonna get three good windows, cross breeze and visibility all the way around, but huge window here, huge window on the campsite, booth dinette that reduces down into a sleeper with storage, great for reconnecting with loved ones or enjoying those camp cooked meals, maybe the card games, little entertainment section over here. If you want to hang a TV, plug in the cable and the power, you got it there. And your AM FM boss command center right there with USB, as well as more storage. Just good layout and it's slideless. That's the best part about it. This thing is slideless, but look at the room that we have. Right up top to keep us cool, we got the roof mounted Dometic 13.5 BTU AC to go along with our furnace, which is located right there under the oven. And last but not least, the bathroom. 202 RD has the high profile Dometic plastic bowl with the foot flush. Got some good countertop space there, black vanity sink, little storage compartment underneath, as well as a mirror, a hanger. And Bobby, if you wanna take a step into the shower right there. Now these ceilings are six foot 10. Of, of height. So you get in there. If you're over 6'3", you're going to be a little cramped, but you do have the skylight and fan right there. Plus you got your handle, uh, your nozzle, and your shower controls, as well as your shower curtain. I tell you, man, for entry level, bang for your buck, 
quality construction. How Coleman builds these Coleman Lantern LTs, you got 16 on inch kiln dried wood studs with that R7, that fiberglass insulation like we see in our homes, hand stapled and glued in between. Just really well built. Plus they rain test everything too. You got Luan backing the walls, Luan backing the floors, and you got the slip resistant, easy to clean, upgraded linoleum here with slip max here. I mean, it's for entry level, Coleman knows camping. They've been doing it for over 60 years. But we've seen the inside of this 202RD. What do you say we're gonna take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Coleman Lantern LT 202RD. Let's start right up front. You got a powered tongue jack on this one. Plus you got a twin 20 pound LP tanks. I put the rain cover on here because of plastic cover, which would, should come on here. Uh, kind of blew off in the rain and the wind. So, uh, sorry, but we're fighting the elements folks. Powder coated single welded frame underneath this coach, giving it good stability. You got the rough rock guard here on the bottom. Plus you got this profile here that's gonna help not only with the way it looks, I like how they brightened up the whites on this for this year and really made the graphics more gradient, but that's gonna help with the drag going down the road as well. Come over here on the campsite, you'll see that we have the magnetic holder, which is nice for entry level for our cargo door. Storage right here, which is passed through, you'll see it's finished off. There's that wood frame that I was talking about with that hand-blown insulation, like I mentioned on the inside, but finished off good and oversized. Coleman this year really did a good job of giving us a little bit more storage space, but giving us larger doors to kind of fit those big camp chairs in. Now, the LTs, some will come with the power stabilizer jacks, some will not, but you will have the option to put them on. Having this little rocker switch right here means that we do have the PSX-1s on this one. Got that aluminum siding on this one, 16 foot awning with the LED light strip, the Lippert solid step leading me into the main entry point. I like how the top step is bigger because it's pet friendly, but also more safe for you. Extra large entryway leading me into the 202 RD. GFCI outlet here on the outside. Plus you got the extra wide berth here with the galvanized wheel well under this RV. I like that because when the rocks and stuff get thrown up, they won't go up into the coach and damage anything. But you got the 14 inches on the steel rims right here. Sealed safety windows all the way around. Rear rocker switch from our rear stabilizer jacks. 4x4 sewer hose storage. Backup camera, which, you know, a lot of times on entry level, you get just the backup camera prep. Coleman actually gave you the camera plus the arch ceilings and the rain nozzles. Make sure the rain don't fall on you or your friends that are outside camping maybe seated under the awning. Got the back of the water heater there, your fresh water fill. Now this one, you do have a 52 gallon fresh tank. You got your 30 amp quick connect here. Main terminations, your gray tank and your black tank. You got dual 42s on that, 42 gray, 42 black. But a little feature I think is pretty cool. They move the connections on the inside. Cable connection, power, city water, and a, a little spray port if you wanna take a little shower. Plus you got the porthole to run your connections through. And since your storage door is lockable, that means your connections are secured. Pretty nice little feature. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this one right here. Unloaded vehicle weight and gross vehicle weight. As you can see, this 202 RD is 4,518 pounds dry, but gross is 7,600 pounds. That's where you take that information back to your specialist or camping world and you say, hey, tell me, what does that mean? Here, here's what my vehicle can tow. Uh, here's how many people we need to sleep. Here's where I'm gonna take it camping. That's the information we need to find the RV of your dreams. And, and while you're here, do me a favor, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we get a video that comes out, you're the first one to get it. Whether it's a camping trip, something that's gonna be helpful, or the RV of your dreams might be waiting for you in your inbox when you get home. You never know. But at 24 feet, 11 inches, roughly 44, 44 dry, I gotta tell you, man, for entry level couples that want a good rear dining coach, get some good views, this 202 RD is one to check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. I love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the 202 RD. Until next time, y'all be good.